But then we also need to understand that it's not about trying to be superior to the next culture. JP Dumini is a well-known international cricketer with a massive scoring average who come from humble beginnings on the Cape Flats. Let's go find out how JP transitioned from international fame to humble servanthood. And uh, this reminds me of a discussion I had with a friend of mine. It's a black guy and I asked him, help me understand how you see white Afrikaans people. Right. And he hasn't had that opportunity ever to honestly tell a white Afrikaans person how he thinks and feels about mm. him or what he represents. And as he spoke to me, I got a deep understanding of uh, what are the differences between us. But I remember after that how much closer I felt to him. I had an appreciation for him, I had an understanding for him and how he thinks. And would you say then that there was also, from your perspective, there was a need for you, for you to not identify that he is talking directly to you, but speaking to a certain culture that is through his lens. Yes. And you needed to not be egotistical about that, but actually just listen. Yeah, and that was my intention. Yeah. And uh, as you speak now, I think to myself, can you imagine we all do that? Yeah. We, we go out to someone close to us that's of a different culture and we say, tell me, mm. tell me everything you think about my culture. Mm. And we don't defend, we just listen. Yes. <laughs> I think we, might, <laughs> think we might build them and build something great. I want us just to think about the South African culture. There are other things about us that's great. Mm. Can you think of anything about our culture that's great that we should actually defend and make sure we don't lose? The uniqueness of our diversity, I think is, is great uh, because I believe it can be used in so many ways as a strength. So I would certainly want to defend that. And, but then we also need to understand that it's not about trying to be superior to the next culture. It's about how can we equally come to a table and as we consistently speak about serving one another. So our diversity is, I believe, one of the biggest things that I'd want to defend. But again, it starts with what we've been speaking about, listening, understanding, a deeper connection, and that will then spill over into something that would be such a unique success story for us. Um, and we've seen it time and time again, particularly through sport, because that's my background, and we see how a specific, a, a specific sporting code can bring a country together, because there's a representation uh, for each cultural uh, difference, you know, or um, background where they can identify with a black person, a colored person, a white person, an Afrikaner, an Indian. They can identify with that person within that group and that's what brings them closer. And what I hear you say is, let's, uh, let's not become the same. No. Let's value the differences and oh, yes. use it for a greater purpose. 100%. But still being uniquely yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome.